welcome to this video, my first impressions of Shmup Creator from Below Studios, inspired by the Shoot 'em Up construction kit and Nemesis 2. So once the kit starts up, you have a tutorial. Professor Bullo explains how to create and load a game. So it's all icon driven, the game manager here, open it up, click on plus to create a new game. You can also choose the assets, packages you can import. You choose a name, click OK, and you choose vertical or horizontal scrolling here, and your new game appears in the game manager. Then it opens up the level manager where you actually create the levels. Click on plus to create a new level. And you can open up the tutorials at any point and go through them again. You click there to access documentation and the properties and the other tutorials are listed under here. Click on the icon to open the tutorials. Create your first game in your first level. See you soon for the next. So and it loads in. Tab to try the game, tab again to go back to the editor. And as you can see it's loaded in the sample game. Electro Loco. Inspired by Geometry Wars with its vector style graphics. And you can see some of the options here. The settings for the player in the right hand column there. And we'll go in and try the game itself. Change settings down here. That's the hitbox the, where you actually collide with something. Gameplay elements. What happens when you die, for example. Your weaponry. There's some built-in weapon items and weapon sets. The animation. and particle effects. So load save preferences, exit, change between sections and more icons up here. To control some of the basics. And you're choosing the camera, how you view the level. So here then is Electro Loco. The stars will automatically move towards your player. It's one of the settings. So bullet hell shooter, vertically scrolling. As you'll see in a minute, you have a map with icons to show where enemies come in. Nice touch there is when you die. Any bullets on screen are vaporized, giving you a brief spell of being able to get back into the game quickly. Overlapping patterns. And that's a power up. So you've got stronger weaponry now. Making short work of this next couple of waves. And large enemies here. Looks like a centipede or a snake there coming down the screen at you. Warning. So we're coming up to a boss at the end of the first level here. And it's got a rotating shield and then you have to hit the central part to destroy it and lots of stars. So congratulations. New success. As we go on to see the total score for the level and the game and built in high score table you move up and down and press button one to enter a letter so that's the first of the example games enter my score here and it says level one 
to the level you've reached. Obviously, there's only one level in there at the moment. And we'll press Tab to get back out into the editor. So then we'll look up in the icons here, the level editor, and the layers, so you have different sections. And have some parallax scrolling effects as well. We'll see that in one of the demo games later. And this is the, the camera showing you what it's looking at and the camera properties here. And we'll move on shortly. You can see the perspective camera. We'll see that in one of the other demo games shortly, as I say. And move on to the other tutorials, the editor's overview here. And I'll load in. I'm going to show you the user interface. Pink rectangle in the center. So we add objects. Use the scroll bar at the bottom. The game box on the left is where you find the objects from the asset packages. And the top of the screen, no more. And the icon row here. Buttons to load and save a game, exit, preferences, editing tools, translation, rotation, scaling, the layer editor we just mentioned, camera controls, and the level editor, game editor. Each tab opens a different game editor, level editor, we create, rename, delete a level, gameplay editor for the settings. Includes power ups. The explosion editor, where you can make your own explosions. The particle editor for doing some special effects. And the start menu for things you'll see before the game starts. And the HUD head up display editor. So, also you can find the buttons to build a game and play it. So you can build a standalone version of the game to run in Windows. So now let's have a look at a different example here. So we're going to Examples and Load. We don't want to save what we've been editing. So then we'll have a look at the Bullet Patterns example here for the next stage. Load that into the Level Manager. And again, Tab to try that out and you can see the enemy bullets here and you can navigate around you've just got a very small hitbox you don't actually die here at the moment again you see the particle effects and the way the extras can be collected they'll zoom towards your craft if you set that in the parameters some nice effects there with the bullets streaming out. And the end. So that's just a short bullet patterns example. We'll go back into load the game Blade of Death. Level one is Desert Attack. And this demonstrates a different type of game. We're vertically scrolling again. So you go through icons there and load it in but we've got a different perspective on the game this time We're using the perspective camera and we can use the scroll bar to move through and as you can see the icons here represent where enemies and other things happen on the level so you can see there's sound triggers there movement triggers special effect triggers the FX and we're going to come to the end of the level shortly. And scroll it back through. So we go back to the start of the level. Uh, we can then go into the game editor or level editor here. Uh, look for your controls and we can then find the settings here, the level settings. 
lighting, post processing, and sound. So you've got a background music for this, or the volume set low, and then this is playing a level one desert attack and as you can see we're getting medals from defeating certain enemies the enemy there coming enemy tank coming out of the hangar a static tower there you can shoot and it's also we've got a shadow from the helicopter the hangar doors opening to reveal another tank there. Bullets heading towards you in patterns. Some interesting smoke and explosion effects. Enemies aiming towards the player here. Perspective giving you a slightly different view of the game. And it's also building a superpower meter at the top left of the screen, which can be unleashed by pressing a button. A big boss character taking off there. And taking a fair few hits gained an extra life there for defeating it. Carrying on here with more tanks. And some fearsome gun emplacements to destroy here. You see a fair chunk of special meter for defeating these. Planes coming in to attack as well. So out over the sea now. More enemy formations, medals. Close on thing there with that enemy. A badass is approaching fast. And you can see the smoke effects. You destroy that left nacelle and Get a bunch of coins, same for there, my big bonus points and there's the super weapon unleashed. Avoid the patterns. There's the big explosion and the boss is defeated. Congratulations and thank you for playing. So it adds up your score for the level, the total score. And it's kept uh, my score from the previous example game on the score table there, obviously because I didn't clear memory and start. But we'll have a look at the other example game, Wings Blaster. I'll load in now. And as you can see, this is a horizontally scrolling game. It has some parallax scrolling effects. You can see as the mouse moves over the level here, Some three dimensional effects there by making a layer in front of the player. You can see the power ups, stars, and we'll see. We're coming towards the end of the level here, but I'm going to leave the boss as a surprise for when we play through. So, start up area one starship attack. Pick up the star bonuses. Notice they're not homing in, so that's set differently. Sprite objects for the asteroids at the top and bottom of the screen. Destroying a wave there gives you a power up. And you lose power ups when you die. There's the depth effect there. Fortunately, you've got plenty of lives on this. So, we've got some cannon here to take out. But now we've got some homing missiles. That'll help us. But we lose the weapons when we die. And this big plasma burst. 
notice how it's turning to face you and that's an extra life I like the way the rock falls into the scenery there and then blocks off your escape another extra life for the power up blast through that rock wall And you can see in the background there we have a parallax effect going on, layers of the background, hidden power up at the top of the screen there, which is an extra life, but I lost a life trying to get it. And we'll count it again. Notice how they're aiming towards the player's sprite. Power up bonus points and a shield and as you can see it's not just straight lines you can have angled pieces and more maze like elements and this one's straight out of the R type playbook here the rotating enemy and some moving pistons So it's in classic horizontally scrolling shoot 'em ups being echoed here. That's a good example of what the Shmup creator can create. So interesting enemy here. Taking away bits of it and then picking up the bonus points doorway closing behind you and then the scrolling changes here a bit of diagonal scrolling to move down to this next section interesting here where the gate opens so there's something going to come from behind and it gives you a warning I like the way this enemy bashes through and again notice the rotational effect in classic Gradius Nemesis style chip away at the shield to open it and then hit the eye behind to actually do the damage laser effect there is good looking that's one half gone I'm going to fire again and it got me that time and boom now it's revealed the second form do more damage and pick up as many stars as you can when the stage is cleared so you completed the game just a single level of wings blaster to check out and that's the end of that so I put the score in I score and there we go so that's shmup creator from below studio available now on steam hope you enjoyed this look through what the kit has to offer and how you can create your own shoot 'em ups and there's the front end editor and as I say you can create your own games and standalone so keep watching scene world for more news reviews unboxing gameplay interviews and the podcast check out shmup creator on steam and i hope to see your creations